Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. I think it's fair to say part of being a good leader in Age of Empires is knowing how to delegate. Specifically, how to send your nameless extras into the fight instead of yourself. Sometimes though, it's unavoidable and a hero unit has to get their hands dirty. Not only is their HP, attack, and armor better than what you can get conventionally, but they also heal automatically and can't be converted. What I want to know is, who are the top 10 heroes in Age of Conquerors? To come up with this list, I've looked at their stats, hidden bonuses, and coolness factor. Let's check it out. Starting off at number 10 is Attila the Hun. You might have expected him a lot later, but his stats are actually not that great compared to what's coming up. He looks like a cataphract but doesn't have their armor or attack bonuses. Instead, he does a whopping plus 40 damage against Boar. Strangely enough, he takes no bonus damage from spearmen or other anti-cavalry units. It turns out that while he is affected by cavalry upgrades, he's actually considered an infantry unit of all things when bonus damage is being calculated. His ability to confuse your enemy's counter units alone earns Attila a spot on the list. Number 9 is the Saboteur. Don't be too quick to judge them based on their cousin, the Petard. Saboteurs hit harder and with a significantly better damage radius. In fact, they cause about the same devastation as a heavy demolition ship, which is fitting because they take bonus damage as if they were one, meaning extra damage from towers and castles. While they're probably most useful against large groups of units, in case you're wondering, they do still have the Petard's 500 bonus damage to buildings as well. You can find them in the final mission of the Mongol campaign, as well as a nice bridge to use them on. Moving on, number 8 is Theodoric the Goth. At 450 HP, Theodoric looks like a tank. His 10 attack is pretty underwhelming though, and his armor isn't up to the normal Huskarl standards. He still manages to hold his own and is on roughly the same level as Attila in combat, while being considerably better against archers. Overall, he's solid, but his armor and attack hold him back on this list. Number 7 is Bad Neighbor and God's Own Sling. They both have 50% more HP than the standard trebuchet, but their real advantage is their 20 range. If regular trebuchets can launch a 90kg projectile over 300 meters, this variation can do 400. That's the furthest in the game. On top of that, they're also 100% accurate. You run into both of these special trebuchets during the final mission of the Saladin campaign, though luckily they're fairly easy to destroy considering their strangely low pierce armor. Next up at number 6 is Henry V. His HP is fairly pedestrian, but check out that armor. Extra armor can go a long way, and he ends up performing better than you might expect in combat. He's a bit vulnerable to missiles because of his low HP, so he doesn't make the top half of the list, but he's still a very strong hero. If you don't remember playing him, he does appear in one of the Battles of the Conquerors. Speaking of great armor, next on the list at number 5 is Alexander Nevsky. This time it's 8 melee and 6 pierce armor before blacksmith upgrades. His attack and HP are a little generic, but his armor more than makes up for that. He never appears in a campaign that I could find, but his picture looks so cool he gets shoehorned into scenarios all the time, as different characters like Nazgul in the Lord of the Rings scenario. Moving on to number 4 on the list is Admiral Yi. From a pure statistical point of view, he should probably be number 1, but his downside is he's limited to water. You might remember him from the Noryang Point scenario in the Battle of the Conquerors. The Elite Turtle Ship is already a very strong unit to begin with, but Admiral Yi has double the HP, double the attack rate in addition to 50% more damage per shot, and 4 more range, just for good measure. Just to give you a sense of what that means, he can win against 8 post-imperial galleons attacking him at once. The real Admiral Yi is famous for never being defeated, and even once led 13 Korean ships to victory over 133 Japanese warships without losing any of them, so it makes sense that he would be a bit overpowered. Entering the top 3, we have El Cid. A quick glance shows you he has some really solid stats all around. 
He starts off pretty good as an infantry unit, able to take out a two-handed swordsman and knight back to back. But when he's on his horse, he takes things to the next level. He's more than a match for every melee unit up to this point. One hero he can't beat though is our number two, William Wallace. Wallace has come. For him, every stat looks strong. He has good HP, great attack, and really solid armor to top it off. Who knew that guy from the tutorial is actually one of the strongest units in Age of Conquerors period? Arguably he could be number one, but in my opinion there's actually one unit that's even stronger. Before we get to it though, I want to point out a few honorable mentions. First there's the Master of the Templar. He has the same picture as Alexander Nevsky, but without the insane armor. You might remember him from the 4th Saladin mission. Another is our lone archer representative in Robin Hood. He's a special variation of the longbowman and is quite common to see in custom scenarios. Another one worth mentioning is Charles Martel from the Tours scenario. He's a variation of a throwing axeman with good but not incredible stats. If you haven't guessed it already though, the number one on this list is Genghis Khan. It's Genghis Khan. We must flee. Virtually every scenario built around hero units saves him as the final one to unlock. Yes, William Wallace does have better HP and armor, and even wins in a melee fight, but it's the range that makes Genghis Khan the best. More attack than an elite war elephant from 8 tiles away. The Great Khan takes this list as the best hero unit in Age of Conquerors. But that's my list, let me know what you think. You challenge my every decision. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.